Yes. Annie's more quiet. Yes, it's a tongue out of the side of the mouth. Yes. My name is Tracy Welch, and uh, I have rheumatoid arthritis, so I have some understanding of disabilities, uh, and especially the isolation that people suffer from from those disabilities. And uh, veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, I know, with PTSD and traumatic brain injury, suffer deeply with that. And my my young puppy here. Uh, TW's Mr. Donovan will be a year old on June 5th. Uh, he can't be bred until, you know, the following year in 2014 after he's done all of his health exams, etc. But Donovan's dream is to breed the right quality dogs, show quality dogs, truly show quality, where they're competitive. They can go into a show ring and win and donate them to veterans with PTSD and traumatic brain injury so that this gives them some reason to get out and train their dog, exercise their dog. They can show their dog. They can decide anything they want. It can be a service dog. It can be a search and rescue dog. It can be a drug sniffing dog. It can be a show dog. It can be a therapy dog. Or it can be just a pet, a family pet as long as the home is right for the dog as well as the veteran. There will be mentors for each puppy uh, so that each veteran can call and say, I'm having a problem with this and that. What do you suggest? Um, this is, this is going to be set up as a nonprofit organization. We're not expecting to bring any money in. This is basically a, an act of love for, from the Australian Shepherd community to the veteran community. And um, I can't think of, of, a, of a, another breed of dog that can bring that much joy to people other than an Australian Shepherd. They're just, that's what the, they just live to please you. Um, and it, but by getting a dog like this, the idea is that it gives the veteran who receives one of our dogs. Um, something something to do, training the dog, getting involved in, in something, talking to people, ending their isolation. The isolation being the hardest part of being disabled, in my opinion. Um, and it's fun. You know, they're, they're wonderful dogs to go out and have fun with. Even if it's just a pet, you go out running on a trail, take your dog. You know, these are not dogs that do well in apartments. They need to be placed carefully with people that have the kind of room for them, uh, that know how to deal or want to learn how to deal with a dog with that kind of energy. They're herding dogs. That is, that's their instinct. Um, so you can't just keep them penned up and expect them to have a... Uh, you know, a good attitude and a decent brain. This is not the right sort of situation for that kind of dog. Uh, but basically, this is Donovan's dream. That's what it's all about, is to give to the ones that have the right goals. They want to get involved. They want to get past their isolation. They, they really, they want this to be a forever home for this dog. Um, and uh, and it's basically Donovan's gift to veterans is the way I see it. It's Donovan's dream.